Hello, I'm Richard Danforth, president of the Jackson Variable League. I want to invite you to watch a short documentary uh, which highlights our programs, collaborations, as well as some of our partnerships. We're in the business of empowering communities and changing lives. And of course, we could not do that without all of our collaborations and partners and the people that work with us to make this a better community. We welcome your support and your feedback, and hopefully you will continue to view the Urban League as a viable organization in this community. Thank you. The main focus and purpose of our program is for us to empower our residents and our potential homeowners and delinquent mortgage clients in, through the realm of financial education first. We see first being financially educated or more empowered about how to build assets as one of the stepping stones to home ownership and reducing the poverty rate here in Jacksonville and surrounding areas. Financial education is the core of all our program initiatives. And what we do, we do the financial education, and then we do the home buyer's education. Then once they become a homeowner, we also do the home retention program. Collectively, we help anywhere from 125 to 200 people collectively per year. And that's with all three of the initiatives. The Center for Education and Career Development provides workforce development training to the general public and general population. We have to be well educated and well trained in order for us to be successful on that job and be able to get those jobs with high paying salaries. So what the Jacksonville Urban League does is we provide that workforce development uh, for our clients. We have open setting every Tuesday. And then of course we have one-on-one -on -one appointments so that we can help them with creating their resume, help them to do some job search on the internet, provide job leads for persons that have job openings. We have about 900 people that we serve annually. What we do on a regular basis, on an annual basis, is have a summer camp during the month of June and July here at the Jacksonville Urban League where the kids will come in and learn the latest information about digital technology. The goal of this program is to reach some children that would otherwise be at home just not doing anything much more productive for the summer. It's very important for us to reinforce that academic knowledge and understanding that they have. So they have technology in the classroom, so it helps to reinforce that technology usage. They have math in the regular school system, so we help to reinforce their math skills. We have a brain, a math brain brawl. We also have, from an academic standpoint, we have a spelling bee, and that just helps to reinforce their reading, help them to reinforce the understanding of the word itself. They will come up out of this camp with a, great, a greater understanding of technology. And we lay that foundation with them so that when they become the leaders of today as well as tomorrow, they will be very, very knowledgeable in those areas. The New Lights is a youth development program and the purpose of the program is to actually give these youth the skills to actually make better choices in the world. I actually meet with the New Lights uh, once a month and during that time I bring in facilitators or I facilitate workshops myself and we provide those opportunities for them to grow for us leadership skills, um, communication skills, activities to help build their self-esteem, um, information so that they will make better choices when it comes to their relationships and just being active in their community. Uh, it's important for them to learn that they are a part of the community so they need to give back to the community as well. So we do community service projects as well. It is important for the Jacksonville Urban League, um, the community, and actually engage these youth today because they have so many challenges. And so that we need to impart into our youth and let them know that they are valuable, they are our most important resource, and we need to help them um, with the day-to-day -day activities. The goal is for these youth, once they've come through the program, to be able to do the things that they want to do. Um, if they want to go to college, if they want to go to military, if they want to trade school, if they just want to uh, find a job, to be productive citizens. The 
the purpose of the Jacksonville Urban League Young Professionals is really to support the mission uh, of the Jacksonville Urban League itself. And so it's a collection of individuals between the ages of 20 and 40. And so we actually just work hard in the community to make sure that we, we uh, let people know about what the Jacksonville Urban League is doing, make sure that they know about the programs that the Urban League provides. Uh, and then we also do programs on the side as well, and we try to help out as much as we can in the community. Basically, we do things like uh, reading clubs uh, for elementary school students. We also get involved with Get Out the Vote initiatives. So we try to just do a, a number of different activities to keep the community engaged in helping themselves. We like to say that we're, we're the ones that want to get on the ground. We're, we're young. We, we have the energy to, to get out there and do the work. So we kind of want to breathe, you know, breathe the energy uh, for the Urban League, and I think that's what we bring to it. We just started meeting heavily maybe 15 years ago, so that introduced our local chapter, but nationally with our organization, when we turned 100 in 2013, and we had something called a Project 13. So there was a component to work with the Urban League. We have our monthly meetings here, and sometimes our committee meetings are held here. Some people may have them. We have a five programmatic thrusts, which pertains to educational development, economic development, physical and mental health, political awareness, and international. And the Urban League has something similar. When there's a common goal, then we'll work with the Urban League. First Thursday is an organization with the mission to serve small disadvantaged businesses here in Jacksonville, Florida. Major focus is supplying funding and funding opportunities for startup businesses, entrepreneurs, and also for businesses who've just started who might need some assistance with financing or funding. We go in and do a lot of the groundwork and, and helping businesses being able to sustain themselves, but organizations like the Urban League, and that's why we're partnering with them. They have the physical resources and programmatic materials and staff to carry out what we help start. Everything is comfortable. We have a nice uh, conference room to meet in. It's wired for technology, so it makes a perfect fit for what we're trying to do in marketing. We believe that uh, a sound uh, economic base in every community is important, but our goal is to make sure that the Jacksonville Urban League's entrepreneurship program is one of the best in the country. Experience Works is a national nonprofit organization that provides community service, employment opportunity, and on the job training for older individuals. And now, at a time of their life where, where they're receiving Social Security or other benefits that may not be enough to survive on. So, we give them a sense of pride, a sense of dignity, and not only are they providing services to the community, but we're helping them to lift themselves as well. The partnership with the Urban League is great. It's a fantastic partnership. Not only do we have office space, but we have use of the computer rooms, and there are other services that are here at the Urban League that allow me to serve the individuals within the program. Like the Urban League, Experience Works promotes the well-being of individuals within the program. So we're able to drive the mission to gain great results, not only for the individuals within the program of Experience Works, but for the community at large. The center is a partnership between the Jacksonville Urban League and Wells Fargo that provides office space and conference rooms for small businesses, nonprofits to come, convene, learn, hold workshops on our five guiding principles of financial literacy, home ownership, job skills training, small business development, and support of the nonprofit sector. We've had over 20,000 individuals come and use the center for various workshops. It was a huge renovation project, over 10,000 square feet of space. This is the Silver Conference Room, and it holds about eight to 10 individuals in this room, and people use it for all type of workshops. Three years ago, when the partnership started with the Jacksonville Urban League and Wells Fargo, we wanted to make sure that we were getting across the guiding principles, and we stick by those guiding principles to make sure that we're making an impact on the community. All the conference rooms are named after the streets in Springfield. This is the Pearl Conference Room and this is our largest conference room at the center. And as you see, we have an organization here right now. We've seen a lot of success stories and a lot of people have said that they really appreciate the center and 
what the Jacksonville Urban League and Wells Fargo is doing in the community. This is the Liberty Conference Room. Again, holds eight to 10 people or more. This is the Walnut Conference Room. A lot, a lot of organizations like this room. I think because of the light, you know, it's like a lot of natural light. And as you see, all the tables and chairs and furniture comes from Wells Fargo. This is the Hubbard Room. And this is a great room because this is where we do a lot of our job training. We have about 15 to 20 laptops and we're able to set them up. A lot of people in the Springfield area talk about the center, talk about how happy they are that Wells Fargo made such a big investment into the community and into the center. So we're very excited about the partnership. Very excited about the services um, and programs that we offer here. It was a very special day simply because we had an opportunity to burn the mortgage on the Urban Leaks Community Development Center. There's nothing like burning the mortgage because I think it's a reflection of the fact that uh, almost 20 years ago, the Jacksonville Urban League bet on its future. And now 20 years later, it's paid for, so it'll be there for generations to come. It's a major accomplishment for the Urban League, you know, within 20 years to build this structure here in La Villa and now to have it paid for. So it's significant for those who have worked here for years, our board of directors, our staff, our volunteers, and of course supporters in the communities that believe in the mission of the Jacksonville Urban League. The outlook for the Jacksonville Urban League is very, very exciting. We want to be a place where all communities can come for equal opportunity. We have rebuilt the Urban League this year. From our computer systems to our accounting systems, we have a new accountant uh, now on staff. We have brought in a consultant to help us with our strategic plan to take us into the next five, ten years on where we want to move to. We have re-engaged current board members as well as bringing in uh, new life with new board members. We want a voice in all the communities of Jacksonville and anybody who is seeking to help the underprivileged and equal employment opportunities for everybody. Our partnerships play a huge role here. It's where we get our funding. One of the visions that I have is I would like to see us partner with more employers. We have a fantastic computer center downstairs and I really would love to get the word out to the larger employers in town that, hey, we have this center right here in Jacksonville, right here in downtown, where you can send your employees, get them their skills that they need updated or improved, and you can pay the Urban League and partner with us where your money is going to be used to serve underprivileged people. And that's kind of where I would love to see us go in that we are going to expand our services into that private sector so that we can try to capture some of those private sector dollars. We're very, very excited about where we're going in 2015-2016. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that short documentary of the Jacksonville Urban League, where we are working extremely hard to empower communities and changing lives. We're so proud of the work that we do and have been doing over the last six to eight years, and we encourage you to come out and visit with us and also to support us, both financially and otherwise. Thank you so very much. <laughs>